Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Gallet Gun Toys. Thank you very much for joining me in today's review. And today we are reviewing the Bampresto Ichiban Kuji Great Ape. Uh, now this is from 2008. Uh, I've had this guy since 2015. Uh, now this is what I call a real staple piece. Uh, this is a piece I feel every Dragon Ball collector really needs in their collection along with the next figure we'll be looking at as well uh, in the next review so just amazing uh, and as you can see he's so large I can't even get him fully in frame so I'll show you guys uh, the base just a nice little rock base uh, and then his feet there's just some really really nice detail uh, in here that they've gone to just really really fine uh, so nice detail uh, with the hair there's not a great deal going on um, I do have to mention to anyone wondering um, the sort of coating that they've used on the paint or the f uh, I'm not too sure uh, what they've used whether it's the paint or maybe uh, some sort of sealer uh, that they've put on after after the fact, uh, but this uh, tends to get very very uh, sort of sticky. Dust sticks to it very well. Uh, Jess has been a trooper for you guys and has just spent probably a good half an hour uh, with a little makeup brush just going through here and giving it a really really good dust. And I don't think it's been this. Uh, clean and dust free since uh, I first bought it and opened it uh, because that sticky residue does make it kind of difficult. Uh, the stickiness has worn off over time but uh, it here in the corner you can probably still see it sort of shines a little bit and that's sort of what it was like when I first bought it. Uh, so if you do buy one of these uh, and that you do see that or uh, have that problem with this particular figure don't worry uh, don't stress that it's a knockoff or anything this one I got from Japan uh, personally uh, myself and um, authentic figure authentic box 100% uh, and yeah just that one strange thing and I have spoken to other collectors that have this piece and they've had the same problem. Uh, I don't know if it's on all of them, I just know some of them it has been a little bit of an issue. But just something to keep in mind, because uh, I personally did worry when I first opened it that it might be uh, bootleg, uh, but then just doing my research and taking a much better look at the box and the figure, uh, I realised I did not have a bootleg, I had an original. Uh, I'm pr I'm not 100% sure if they've done bootlegs of this. Uh, I'm sure they have, as uh, you can find bootlegs of just about anything these days. But, like I said, guys, an amazing, amazing piece. Now, let's get into the face. And as you can see, the face just looks great. The fists, the details on his fists, really nice. Uh, it is a l The paint can be a little bit... Uh, it does look a little bit rough and rustic in some parts. Uh, you can't really see the eyes, but the eyes have like a like a um, dark sort of brown wash over them. Uh, and it just it kind of works. It's not super clean, but it's uh, it's something a little bit different. But like I said, guys, I feel this is a real staple piece for any Dragon Ball collection. Uh, the Azaru Great Apes are such an iconic part of uh, Dragon Ball for, you know, Kid Goku and his transformations. Uh, and then in Dragon Ball Z, they expand on the mythology and it just, it becomes, it's uh, a whole another thing with the Saiyans. So, it's uh, just, just really, really cool. And I can't recommend picking this one up enough, guys, because... It's just a piece of, I feel everyone needs in their collection. Uh, unless, of course, you don't like the Ozaru form, then I could understand uh, you not wanting to pick it up. 
Okay, so from tip of the base to his nostrils, he's 13, I oh know, 12 inches exactly. And then he's about, oh, let's see, from nostrils, so almost another two inches. So he's sitting at about 14 inches high. Uh, which is pretty respectable to the top of his uh, fists, about 12 inches high to the top of his nostrils. Uh, so he is really, really solid. I keep mine in uh, Detolf, uh, just because uh, I really like having uh, these larger Ichiban Kuji uh, figures, sort of like statue diorama figures, uh, in a Detolf. Uh, this guy takes up pretty much most of the space. I do have a couple other things in there with him, but uh, yeah. So, I don't think there's much more I can say about this, guys. I will just quickly bring it in here, because I don't... I didn't give you guys a good look at the mouth and the teeth. I just feel it looks, looks great. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, just the other thing I will mention is just because of how he is actually displayed, uh, it's a little bit harder to put him on a nice high shelf. Uh, he needs to be on sort of like a lower shelf or a medium shelf so you can actually appreciate his head and you're not just seeing uh, sort of the bulky part of his body. So he doesn't really work in the top of a detail uh, on the very top shelf, but he does work in the third... Uh, in the second to last or the bottom uh, that's what I feel uh, I feel he displays best like that so anyway guys I'm gonna wrap this up and yeah if you guys can pick this up definitely pick it up can't recommend it enough and I'll catch you guys in the next video bye for now